Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. We'll begin this hour in faraway Guinea-Bissau, where earlier today, the heads of state and government or of the authority of ECOWAS unanimously selected Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu to lead the regional body as chairman of the Economic Community of West African States. At the meeting of the leaders in Guinea-Bissau, President Tinubu raised an alert on the increase in terrorist activities and the constant threat to lives and property. The president says he is also worried about military takeovers in the sub-region that truncates democratic governance. President Tinubu called for collective action for member states and pledged that his leadership will push ECOWAS closer to achieving the goals set and fulfilling dreams of its founding fathers. The president charged ECOWAS leaders to shape a brighter future of shared values and peace democracy and economic prosperity in the region. Nigeria's president declared that he would prioritize political stability, peace and security, regional economic integration and strengthen of the ECOWAS institutions. He also promised to ensure democracy and good governance is the cornerstone of peace and sustainable development. President Tunubu called on ECOWAS to stand firm in defense of democracy. And shortly after his emergence as ECOWAS chairman, member countries of ECOWAS president, member countries of uh, the economic community of West African states have congratulated Nigeria for the successful conduct of Nigeria's election that led to the emergence of President Bola Tinumbu. Their message was conveyed at the opening ceremony of the 63rd ordinary session of the authority of ECOWAS heads of state and government. The president of Guinea-Bissau, Omaru Sisoko Mbalo, in his opening speech commended Nigeria for the sustenance of peace and strengthening of democracy in the West African region. He also said the situation in Mali, the Republic of Guinea and Burkina Faso with regards to the prolongation of the transition period represents a regression of the values of democratic rule of law adopted by member states. He insists that the return of democracy in the three countries is significant in the search for political stability and the promotion of democracy, rule of law, and well-being of the people of West African sub-regional community. I would like, therefore, to welcome President Tinubu to his first meeting of the ECOWAS Authority. On behalf of the community institutions, I would like to extend our felicitation and best wishes in piloting the affairs of Africa's biggest economy and the largest country, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To warmly congratulate our brothers, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu of Nigeria and the Julius Madabio of Sierra Leone on the election and their election, respectively to the supreme magistracy of their country and wish them a great success and considering the fact of these two great brothers' people.